Hello everybody and welcome to your third C++ uh, Made Easy tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be exploring uh, C out a bit more so we're going to be exploring more about writing text to the screen uh, so uh, as we talked about last tutorial we have uh, C out followed by two left stream operators followed by our text followed by a uh, semicolon okay uh, and what we should note is that C out is from the STD namespace, right? So let's say that we were to remove this namespace right here. Then you would see, uh, oh yeah, sin.get is from the STD namespace as well. You would see that's undefined. So if, we're, if you don't want to include the namespace there, it is still possible to uh, use it. All you have to do is just put the namespace's name plus two colons and what the two colons represent is a scope operator so this is basically saying find uh, a UC out from the STD namespace and the reason why we have scope operators and they're using class as well classes as well is that uh, sometimes what if we have what if we want two different things with uh, two different namespaces with the same value so say we had let's say we're making a, a a fighting game for example and we had a player and we had an enemy okay and both player and enemy have HP right we would we wouldn't want to make like a different value for HP for the a different name for the enemy's HP and the players HP we'd want to uh, we want to be like player HP and enemy HP we'd want it be we wanted we would want it to be subjective or uh, uh, personal to that uh, to that namespace or to that class so what we do is that we have the scope operator to let us know that it belongs to that namespace or that class or whatever so that we know uh, that if we're talking about HP or anything that we're not talking about the um, what the players HP or whatever we're talking about a specific classes HP right so it's the same thing it goes for namespaces so if you don't want to do that uh, if you don't want to include the namespace, uh, then you can do that as well. So for for beginners, I would say use using namespace SCD, but later on, I, I would say don't use it. And uh, I will talk about that later once you get into namespaces and stuff. But it, it's always it's better not to to use it. So uh, so to begin to in the last tutorial, we uh, we learned how to. Um, write text to the screen but there's a, a bunch of different things that we can do for writing text so say for instance uh, you wanted to write some other text right uh, we could simply do uh, that or whatever write another C out blah 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 right uh, but we can also like uh, we could also do another two left stream operators and write some more text and that will be added to what this does right so all of this will be written to the console window so if we were to run this program it would say hello world plus our random text that we wrote okay now say for instance that we want to write some stuff on a new line right uh, a lot of tutorials will teach you to do backward slash n uh, which is a new line and th there's different type of special characters different types of special operators like there's a uh, backslash n backslash t uh, I think backslash r for carriage return uh, t is for tab etc uh, etc et right uh, so uh, if we run this program so if we did backslash n and then we uh, did some more text and then if we run this program we notice that our new word is on a new line okay so I want okay so I brought up something right here and I want to show you so these are the, the, the stuff that they're called the special characters are called escape characters right and these are the different forms of escape characters right so we can do uh, uh, new line return tab form fee backslash bell uh, hexadecimal uh, octo question mark etc etc right uh, so 
uh for example like if you wanted to do a backslash or whatever uh but uh since since uh since the backslash is used as escape sequence if you wanted to actually display a backslash and you'd have to put uh two double lines there and if you want to do if you want to display a single quotation or a double quotation then you have to do backslash before as an escape sequence so so let us get back to our code so the thing about um, backslash n is that uh, it's not cross-platform like it will, it will probably work on a lot of different platforms but the most cross-platform friendly way is to do is put nl which stands for n line okay and when we do nl then it just ends line and we can start a new, new line again so uh so what it will do is uh, display hello world and the line then display text or so we'll display text on a brand new line so just like it shows in here hello world and then text so that's how we can do uh text in it so then uh just to test some of the special characters so uh you notice that how when we write text that we're just surrounded by double quotations right but say you wanted to uh, actually show a quotation mark around uh, the word so let's do backslash that and we'll do backslash quotations so if we run this program then we will see quotation marks around hello world right here right uh, and say we wanted to uh, Say you want to show a backslash for some reason. Like say we want to show a file path or something like that and we want to show it like that. Then we can also do that. So th those are the, some of the escape sequences. It's up to you if you re really want to memorize them or not. But those are some cool things you can do with writing text to the screen. Uh, so I'll, I'll end that tutorial right now. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.